There's a lot to digest here. You know, here is my concern. So Mark Cole took his time to inspect the details of the upcoming I-15 Tropicana interchange project. This is going to uh, uh, impact my uh, frequent commute to the airport. According to NDOT, the project is still about two years out, but senior project manager Jeff LaRoute says they want to hear comments and concerns from people like Cole. We want everybody to be involved, understand the project, and so there's no surprises when the project comes in and we start constructing it. Here's a look at what the finished project might look like. He estimates it'll take two to three years. We're going to have additional lanes in each direction, one lane in each direction on Tropicana itself. We're going to improve the operations of the interchange itself by having triple Fs, triple rights wherever we can. They're also planning to raise and lengthen the interchange over I-15, eliminate a traffic light at Dean Martin and Tropicana, expand the sidewalks, and add HOV access points. Dean Martin Drive, the reconfiguration looks uh, spot on to me. But the big concern, the project designed to help with traffic could cause two to three years worth of traffic. The traffic control is going to be critical. I mean, we've got T-Mobile Arena, we've got the Raider Stadium, we, we're at the south end of the strip, you know, it feeds into UNLV, it feeds into the airport. Why why are the improvements necessary? A long list, says LaRoute, but growth is a big one. As traffic keeps on accumulating, we have to react to it. Cole's reaction to the project? Well, the jury is still out. And I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get to the airport. So if you want to weigh in and share some thoughts or concerns with NDOT, we have a link on how you can do that on our website, news3lv.com. You have until December 4th to weigh in. Reporting live tonight, Max Adero, the CW, Las Vegas. Max, thank you.